Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting session on Amazon Open Search Service. My name is Kshitrija Dhawan. I am an Associate Specialist Solutions Architect here at Amazon Web Services. Today, I am thrilled to walk you through Natural Language by Generation and Amazon Q Developer in Amazon Open Search Service. Let's get started. Amazon Open Search Service has added support for AI-powered natural language query generation. This feature is all about making your life easier while working with log data and helping you uncover insights faster than before. Starting with OpenSearch version 2.13 and later, you can start asking questions in plain English. Pretty exciting, right? This feature was built using the OpenSearch Assistant Toolkit. It's essentially your AI-powered assistant. It's built with agents that can talk to large language models and tools to perform specific tasks. Think of it as a bridge between your natural language and OpenSearch's querying capabilities. So whether you are a seasoned professional or just getting started with OpenSearch, this feature is going to make your life much easier while working with log data. You can now focus on what you want rather than how to ask for it. We are also happy to announce Amazon Q developer support for Amazon OpenSearch service. Starting with OpenSearch version 2.17 or later, it provides AI-assisted capabilities to investigate issues, analyze patterns, and create visualizations on your operational data. It brings in the following additional capabilities. You can now create visualizations by simply describing what you want to analyze in natural life. You can get instant summaries of your query results directly on the Discover page. Amazon Q also simplifies the anomaly detection process by automatically suggesting the anomaly detectors based on your data sources. If you have configured Amazon Open Search Service to create alerts when data from one or more indices meet certain conditions, you can now view comprehensive alert summaries and insights for faster incident response. And last but not the least, you can also access Amazon Q Chat for immediate help with Amazon Open Search Service related questions. Now, before we dive into the demo, let's quickly go over what you need to make this work. Think of these as your checklist. You'll need OpenSearch version 2.13 or newer. The service software needs to be R2024, 520, P4 or later. The fine-grained access control needs to be enabled. Now this feature is enabled by default on the domains created with OpenSearch version 2.13 or newer with the fine-grained access control enabled. If you want to enable this feature on a pre-existing domain, make sure all these requirements are met you can then enable this feature by selecting the checkbox next to Enable Natural Language Query Generation. It will be under Generative AI Assistant Feature section in the cluster configuration. All right, let's talk permissions. If you enable this feature on a pre-existing domain, the Query Assistant Access role might not be defined on the domain. You'll need something called the Query Assistant Access role with these specific permissions. The link to the documentation will be in the description below where you can find more information on this. All right, now comes the fun part. Let me show you how this works in real time. I'll walk you through setting up a quick demo using sample flight data. Let's dive straight into it. First, we'll start with accessing the Amazon Open Source service to the AWS console. For today's demo, we are going to use the Open Search UI. If you don't have your Open Search UI set up, Please check out our recent video on next generation OpenSearch UI. The video walks you through creating the OpenSearch applications, associating data sources, and also creating the workspaces. I'll link the video in the description below. You can click on the application name to look at the application details. You can see I have my OpenSearch domain added as the data source here. As you can see here, I have my OpenSearch domain created with the latest OpenSearch version 2.17. If you want to enable the natural language query generation feature on a pre-existing domain, simply click on edit here and select the checkbox that says enable natural language query generation and Amazon Q developer features, which is under generative AI assistant features. You can access your OpenSearch UI by simply clicking on the application URL here or clicking on the launch application. Either works. Once here, if you don't have your workspace created, create one. I have mine created, so I'm going to access my workspace. Once you're inside your workspace, you'll see an option to install sample observability data. I'm going to click on add sample data to add the sample flight data. You'll see different data options available here for you. 
For this demo, we are going to select Add Data on Sample Flight Data. Once you see this message, Sample Flight Data installed, you're good to go. You can click on View Data to explore the sample flight data. The sample flight data gives us plenty of interesting data to work with. We can see origin and destination city, ticket prices, flight counts, carrier information, and more. Now in the left navigation panel, click on Discover. You can see this option in the top. You can click on Natural Language Query Generation for PPL. Let's start with our first query. I'm going to ask it how many flights were there this week grouped by destination country. As you can see in the result below, it generates the required PPL query. It groups it by destination country and returns the flight counts for those groups. In response, Amazon Q also generates the natural language summary of your query result as you can see here. You can use the thumbs up or thumbs down button to provide feedback, and you can also copy the summary to your clipboard using the copy button. You can turn the summary generation off by clicking on the Amazon Q drop down, as you can see here, and toggle it off. Let's ask it a bit complex question this time. Show me top four carriers with the most delayed flights where the delay was more than two hours in the last month. As I hit enter, it returns the top four carriers with the count of delayed flights per carrier. You can see in the where clause, it has selected flight delay minute greater than 120 minutes, which satisfies our requirement as stated in the question, and it chooses the interval as the last month. Click on Generate Summary and it will summarize the query results for you. If you need to refine your search, you can simply modify the question. Let's now look at how to build visualizations using Amazon Q. For that, click on Amazon Q menu and click on Generate Visualization. Since I had entered a natural language query previously, Amazon Q copies the context when creating a visualization based off of that query. As you can see, it has created a bar chart here. You can also enter a different prompt and click the button next to it to run the query. To update the visual, choose Edit Visual button. I'm going to ask it to create a pie chart instead and click Apply. As you can see, it updates the visualization accordingly. Let's now see how to view Amazon Q Recommended Anomaly Detector. From the Amazon Q menu, click on Suggest Anomaly Detector. Amazon Q makes suggestions for creating an anomaly detector based on the query in the context. It does so by recommending the relevant fields of your operational data patterns. You can choose to add another feature and click on Create Detector. It takes approximately a minute for the initialization process to complete. You can access your anomaly detectors by clicking on Detectors under Anomaly Detection on the left. I have other detectors created, so I'm going to show you how it looks like. As you can see, there's no anomalies detected currently in this time period. I have historical analysis created, so you can see the anomalies found here. You can choose a filled rectangle in the heat map for a more detailed view of anomalies within that entity. You can see if I scroll down, I get more detailed view with detailed graphs. Let's now see how you can view an alert summary. From your workspace, under Alerting in the left menu, click on Alerts. I have an alert created already. Click on the Amazon Q developer icon beside your alert and it will summarize your alert for you. You can go through the summary to quickly understand and troubleshoot an alert. You can see it says it was triggered by the flight delays monitor and the monitor is set to run every one minute and checks for the flights with a delay of 20 minutes or more. You can also copy the alert. You can leave a feedback here by giving it a thumbs up or thumbs down. Let's now see how you can access the Amazon Q chatbot if you have questions related to Amazon Open Search Service and its features. On the top right, you'll see the Amazon Q icon. Click on it and that will open the chatbot for you. As you can see, it is able to preserve the context of your chat and also the history of the conversation for your reference later. You can start asking it questions right away. You can type in your question here and click on Go and it will generate an answer for you. As you can see, it has generated a response for me. You can leave a feedback here. You can also copy the response by clicking on the Copy button. Here are some golden nuggets I have learned. Be specific with your questions. If the results aren't what you expected, try rephrasing. You can always see the PPL that gets generated. Great for learning as well.
And there you have it. That's Amazon Cube Developer and Natural Language Query Generation and Amazon Open Search Service in a nutshell. Remember, this feature is all about making querying logs easier and your work more efficient. The link to the documentation will be in the description below. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. If you found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button for more such videos on Amazon Open Search. Thank you so much for watching.